Hey there, Site42 staff, Dr. Theron Sherman here, and today we'll be reacting to episode 2 of There Is No Anti-Memetics Division, created and directed by Andrea Joshua Aznikar, and hosted on the YouTube channel of the same name. Now, because I'm going to be yapping over this whole thing, make sure to watch the episode proper first over on his YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment that says, Dr. Sherman sent ya. But before we begin, this video is not sponsored by There Is No Anti-Memetics Division, the book by Quantum. This collection of SCP stories, available in hardcover, paperback, or on ebook, is the very basis of the many series we're enjoying today. And if we want more excellent SCP films, series, games, all that stuff, it's important for us as a community to make sure that we support the authors who create the stories that these other great artists adapt. So make sure to grab your copy today, and now, let's get on with the video. It's a nice property. Good shooting location. Hell, do you remember me? Al. You can wake up now. You can do it, Al. I'm out of here. When you retired from the Foundation, we made you forget. It's what we all signed up for. You die in the dark, blah, blah, blah. Something else as well. You signed your last hours to us because of a particular job. Hate needles. Mm. Hate needles. Do you remember who you are? Dr. Lean Patrick Manners. Former direct and founder of the Foundation's anti mimetic Division. We need some memories from you, which are buried so deeply that we can only extract them by killing you. It's a bad this idea. This afternoon, we'll extract those memories. And once we're done, you'll be dead. What happened in 1976? I brainstormed the idea of the anti-mimetics division in less than a week. But it was all too fast. It was too easy. It was as if I knew it all already and was just catching up. And then one day, I realized I could not remember my life before anti-mimetics. So I look up my file and I found a hole like a jigsaw with only the edges and corners. So I did the only thing I could do. I look at the shape of the hole. This is not the first anti-mimetics division. Before 1976, there was another one. We've been here before and we'll but do this again. Happened to them. This much we know already. The question is known. It's the answer we've been looking for all these years that we're killing you for. <sighs> One last walk. The first anti-mimetics division was a U.S. Army project. It ran parallel with the Manhattan Project during World War II. We built our equivalent of the hydrogen bomb, an anti-mimetic bomb, a memory eraser. We test detonated and got looped. We 
forgot that we had ever built the bomb at all and started over. We built another one. Calvin, you are there. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? I mean, the foundation, you always are, so that's normal. Is that what happened in 76? Did you set off the second anti-memetic bomb? Why? It was eating my division alive. It came at us so hard and so fast. Then the only way we could stop it was to self-destruct. What was it? There is an SCP your division has never seen, which my division could not contain. The SKP. This is what you wanted, isn't it, Marion? Yes. This is the data we need. If you know it exists, it knows you exist. The more you know about it, the more it knows about you. If you can see it, it can see you. It's always you a bad deal. Can see it. You've been looking right at it all afternoon. Where is it? Is it in you? Destroying all knowledge of it was the only way to destroy it. And you, restoring my memory, was a foolproof way to bring it back. Oh, you need to tell me what this thing is. That's the opposite of what we need to do. You need to set another bomb off. We don't have that bomb. We lost that technology. You always had it. There's an engineering lab inside 41. You know it. An underground complex in pristine conditions and totally disused. Why? Think about it. That's where your bomb is installed. If I set the bomb up, we're back to square one. How do we contain this thing? You can't. Don't you get it? The whole division is looped. We start the division, we run headlong into this thing, and either it eat us, or we wipe ourselves out in self-preservation. What is it? Where did it come from? What does it want? Why? Why did you make me remember? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell was that Cthulhu hot air balloon? Well, welcome back, handsome. Our MTF found you barely alive. What were you looking for? What were you doing there? Who were you with? Did you at least find what you were looking for? I can't quite remember. It's always the trouble with anti-memetics. Ooh, that was a shorty, but... Ooh, that, okay, that was intense. 
I wanted to make a joke when he started bleeding from his face. Like, oh, he wasn't using that face anyways, but I was too gripped. And so was he by the crunching noises that I was hearing. Oof. I want to go back and see that balloon one more time. But I'm waiting till the credits are done. I'm being polite, giving everyone their props. Now, whether you know this or not, I actually know nothing about There Is No Anti-Memetics Division. It's a big thing when you talk to SCP people is, you know, there's over thousands of, ten thousands of stories on the wiki proper. So most people have their favorites, but they don't have an encyclopedia knowledge of everything because there's too much to know. So everyone's SCP fandom has certain targets that they're on. And there is no anti-memetics division is not in my target area. So besides we don't, uh, we need to talk about 55 and Alistair Gray. Those are the only two teen ad stories that I know. So all of this is new information for me after episode two. And wowza. All right, let me pause and let's go see this uh, 99 Cthulhu balloons. Picking up this one old guy. Something bad is happening here. You will not remember though. Okay, so he has little bug legs coming out of his tummy tum. And we got Cthulhu, how you hanging up there? <laughs> that's very interesting. Oh, that's cool. So interesting, so neat. Uh, was this based on an SCP story? I didn't see anything in the credits of this is uh, adapted from, okay, which one is it? Based on there is no anti memetics division, gotcha. But is there a specific story for this one? It does not say, at least in the credits as I read them very quick on a read through. But what I'll do, since they were so clear with previous, the two adaptations, since they were so clear on how they took from that and so by the books, let me go by uh, SCP Antimimetics. Antimimetics, unforgettable, that's what you are. That's L, not L. Maybe I heard it wrong. Yep, okay, so this is L, not L. I got that production wrong. Do you remember who you are? Going down, what happened in 76? Give them another 10 years. The army. Red flag. It's in his eyes. So it was specifically his eyes were bleeding. I thought that, but I wasn't sure if it was just his face or his eyes. You just said another bomb off. We don't have the bomb. We lost that technology. You've always had it. Oh, this tells you more. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, since we're doing this as a series, I'm not gonna read too much about this so that I go into the rest of the series and see what they're presenting. But obviously, especially if you get the book, then you can read the whole story right away. So do that, support Quantum, and of course, head over to the Andrea Joshua Aznakar YouTube channel and support their works as well. Now I'm gonna get ready for episode three, so I'll see you all in the next video. Secure, contain, protect. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure, contain, protect.